in this example we're going to use cpi request reply step to call to northwind odata customer entity using both http and odata adapter then compare two of them what's their different this is the metadata odata version 2 northwind and this is the query full endpoint that we're going to use now go to cpi before actual development it's good that we run through to see the data first this is the get customer this is output that we're going to get now go to cpi we we'll create a new package called Northwind. Then create new iFlow. Get customer using HTTP. And, and we same using the sender HTTP to call from Postman. Now we add the request reply step under external call request reply. Add it. Then. Just a moment. Okay. Then drag the arrow to the receiver and choose HTTP. Go to connection. This is a full URL. If we put the full URL, the query part should be at the query and we can remove the question mark. Proxy type internet. This is for cloud connector. We are not using that. So choose the internet. We are doing a get call. Get call, no need. Send the body. And authentication is none because this OData not required username password. And this asterisk, just put asterisk request header asterisk now if you save you will see that it's in error and it mentioned that should enter a valid query although we try in here this is in fact a valid query i believe this is a uh, I will not show, uh, don't, not sure should we call it a bug or not. It's just uh, the way CPI HTTP, it always expect the value. This, this is not considered a valid query. So if I, if I remove this one, then it can save. For now, let's deploy this one first. Later, we can add the uh, filtering filter. Okay, deploy and refresh. Get customer using HTTP. Copy the endpoint. And this is the earlier one. I just duplicate it. and paste the cpi url and there's no need pay body and chain to get and save and send 
Yep. And we get the response back. Uh, this is Germany. This is Mexico. But what we want to do is to get only the country with Germany for our example. So we want to add a filter to to do this we can add the query in content modifier first so here under property coin query and with type constant and we put the whole query string here from the from here and here here the top and here Germany here paste the value yep we can put it using the header also but for property if this value is not supposed to go in as a HTTP header there is we can choose to use it in property yep okay here property dot query save deploy Okay, run again. So now this Germany and this Germany, this this start with B, this start with A. So now the filter is in place already. And if we want, if we want the response to return as JSON format, add the message header. We can put the accept and then the value application slash JSON and deploy. Now let's run it again. Now we get the JSON format back okay uh, I will stop this in for now then continue the all data adapter in the next video see you in next video